Last season, wide receiver Joe Wright took that next step in becoming UTSA's number one wide receiver. The drops we saw during his freshman season went away, and his big play ability lifted this offense to new heights as he rewrote the record books at wide receiver, became the Texas Bowl MVP with his 238-yard performance, and to start the season a week ago, he picked up right where he left off. We'll probably never see him make that first touchdown catch again, but Joe Wright is the man they are running this offense through this season. And we could be in store for something special Roadrunner football has never seen before. Wright began the season with a 201-yard, three-touchdown performance, and we'll see how he follows it up in the home opener as the Roadrunners host San Diego State in the second game of the season. UTSA is now ranked in the top 25. After their quality win over Boston College, they are ranked number 24. Non-conference play continues, and we have two more after this one. And it's time to get underway. The Roadrunners will receive the opening kickoff, and here we go, game two. And it's Deshaun Washington on the return. He's got a lane. Washington across the 40 with a head of steam. Down the sideline and tripped up after a 68-yard return. Short field set up for Jacoby Criswell, Joe Wright, and this offense. Wright, right of the formation as the start goes to Curtis Mills at running back this week, and he gets a gain of four. Mills outperformed Vince Taylor in the opener, and he gets the second play as well. Off tackle, gain of seven, and a new set of downs. A bunch on the right side here on first and ten. And Chriswell dumps it underneath, breaking first contact. That is Curtis Davis fighting his way to the ten. Davis checks out after the gain of nine, second down. They fake it to Mills. Chriswell to the end zone. He's nearly intercepted by Jaden Brown. Chuck Bell was the open tight end there, and now it's third down. Mills doesn't get it. Good penetration. Playmate Dylan Taylor, and it's fourth down. And the Roadrunners will not be sending out the kicking team. And they will throw for it. Fourth and one. Off the mark and incomplete. Chriswell misses Keytron Jackson. It is a turnover on downs. The great return by Deshaun Washington goes to waste, and the Aztecs will start their day at the 10-yard line. Split backfield and a run to the right. This is Armstead breaking a tackle. He gets 11 and a first down. The quarterback for San Diego State is Jalen Maiden, and he dumps it across the middle. That is caught. First down, Darius De Los Reyes for a gain of 11. Solid start to the drive for San Diego State. Maiden wants to get out of there, avoids the pressure, and he finally goes down. It's a gain of eight. Already three first downs on this drive. To the air on first down. Maiden has a tight end breaking open. Here is Rudolph into Roadrunner territory. A 23-yarder. Had to break off of his route there and just find some open space. Made into the air again. Caught. Ronald Gilliam. This time 10 yards. Nice start here for San Diego State. They have worked down the field quickly. Third and inches. Maiden's going to get rid of it as nobody was open. And they will take their chances on fourth down. So the play wasn't there. They had two cracks at it. So here is the fourth down try. Inside give, Armstead doesn't get there. And the play is made by Keith Cowan. I was impressed with the linebacker play in week one. And there's Cowan making another play. Both teams with turnovers on downs to start the day, just as we all suspected. Here's Vince Taylor with a nice run. It's a counter gain of 11, first down. We'd love for this running game to take a step forward this season. Fake to Vince Taylor, Chris Swell delivers, and the catch is made. First of the day for Joe Wright. Ten catches back in the opener. It was fun to see him be the star of this offense. Second down, Wright's open again, wide open. There's something about these star receivers wearing number 18. 
Defenses just aren't sure what to do about him. Offset eye now. Taylor the back. He gets the call. Open space on the edge. Taylor to the 10. A run of 20 yards. Something that has happened far too infrequently the last couple years. Chriswell fakes on first down, and he is dropped. Pressure came in from the right side. Paul Spillum, and it's second and goal. Back to the air again. Chriswell dodging pressure. He's going to run this one down to the one. Took a hard hit and did not get in. It's third and goal. Roadrunners go compact. Running it. Taylor. Second effort. It's enough. Touchdown, UTSA. I wasn't sure if he was going to get in. I thought they might be going for it on the second straight drive. But a nice job not giving up on the play. It's 7-0. Here's a 3-3-5 look from the Roadrunner defense. Way too much time in the pocket. And Maiden finds a receiver uncovering. It's Philippe Wesley, 21 yards. You can't give anyone that kind of time in the pocket. Armstead, big hole. And he will exploit for a first down, gain of 12. Aztecs picking up a ton of first downs on these first two drives, and now they'll sweep it. Armstead's hit and drop for a loss. That is more like it. Andrew Ross in the backfield, Patrick Jenkins with the tackle, and it's third and 10. Four on the rush. This is off the hands of the receiver, and Wesley dropped it. That'll bring on the field goal team. And it's a long try here. 52 yards to put San Diego State on the board. And this kick is no good. Wide left. And the Roadrunners will take over. Chuck Bell is in as the fullback. And they run it. Vince Taylor got caught up for a moment. Taken down for the loss. Jackson slot right. Second and 13. Off the mark for Curtis Davis. Chris Wells missed a couple. He's three of six passing, and it's a long third down. Six protecting three. Chris Well looking downfield, and this one's picked off. Wanted Joe Wright instead. The Aztecs have their first takeaway. Definitely wasn't open, but on third and long, they want to see what Joe Wright can make happen. It's an arm punch for Jacoby Chris Well. Maiden. Time again. Delos Reyes makes the catch. It's a gain of 15. Somehow had three receivers in about the same area there. Maiden pulls it back. Read option. And he, wow, fought through that contact. I did not think he'd get the first down. What a run. They picked up some good gains on the ground. They'll try it here. Armstead hit and stops. Only one that time. Third and 10, setting up the screen. It's open for Armstead, needs a couple blocks and won't have it. Out of bounds, well shy, and they are looking to try the field goal again, and this is about the same distance now, but from right hash. And he pulled it wide left again. I'm not sure if he has the strength. It would be close if it were accurate, but again, the Roadrunners have decent field position. Nothing special, really. Chriswell delivers! It's cut by Chris Woods. 18 yards on the catch. Quickly to midfield. Taylor. Off tackle. It's open again. Taylor with the big runs. Now it's 17 yards. And they are controlling the edge. 360 throw. The trick throw from Chriswell ends up in the hands of Keetron Jackson. Only four yards. He had a quiet season opener. Play fake, third and three. Pressure's there, and the pass is not even close. There were nothing but San Diego State defenders in the backfield with Jacoby Criswell. So for Keith Combs, this will be the first field goal try of his career. From 43, it is right down the middle. 10-0 UTSA. Halftime approaches, and San Diego State has moved the ball. They haven't gone three and out. Just have to finish their drives, and Armstead finds an open lane again. 15 yards. I still have my concerns about the run defense overall. I think they will be susceptible to certain running attacks. Open is Rudolph. 15 yards off the play-action pass. 
And now trying to tighten things up in the red zone. Maiden completes. And Rudolph has it down to the 11. Split back on third and three. They sweep it. And there is Jason Hall in the backfield. What a play. Like he was shot out of a cannon. Look at this closing speed. Armstead had no idea what to do. So it's a third field goal try. This one from short range, and it is good. San Diego State is on the board. 10-3 late first half. They've kept it close. And they try to bring some pressure. Wide open, Keytron Jackson. He works his way out of bounds. A gain of 18. Two receivers to the left, and Jackson the motion man. Underneath, caught Joe Wright. Up to the 45. We'll see some tempo now. The clock did not stop there. They missed the first down. Now Wright has it on the screen. That'll move the sticks and the clock stops. Gain of eight. Four for 53 for Joe Wright here in the first half. With 40 seconds left, pretty good coverage. And Chris Wells got to eat this one and manages to keep it just a loss of three. One timeout remaining now, 35 seconds. Eight in coverage. They still get pressure, and here is Jackson. Stop shy of the marker. Clock ticking down. 18 seconds to go, third and five. Chriswell again doesn't like what he sees and throws it away. Good coverage again out of San Diego State, and they'll bring on Combs again. And now this looks to be about a 48-yarder. And he played it perfectly. A two-for-two two start for Keith Combs as the Roadrunners' freshman kicker. And it's a 13-3 lead at halftime. The Roadrunners have looked good. We'll see if they can start the season at home with a win. Joe Wright, four more catches. Didn't have the big play in the first half, and that's been something defenses haven't avoided much of lately. San Diego State football as we get the third quarter underway and Armstead trying to get over the line. Couldn't quite get the first down. Crowd getting into it now. And Maiden won't get there. It was the wrong call at the wrong time. The Roadrunner Blitz was perfect for stopping this play. It's a three and out and quickly UTSA takes over. Off play action. He's got some room here. Chriswell buys time, and now he's in the open field. To the sideline, what a hit. He pops back up. There is no penalty. That looked pretty late to me, but there is no call. First and 10, Mills running left, and it's a gain of three. So far, Taylor having the more productive game. He's back in on second down. Chriswell, deep to the end zone! Caught by Keytron Jackson! Touchdown, Roadrunners! Jackson coming off the quiet week one, but I know you all wanted to see him get the football, and he's been featured more today. And there he is, winning one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. The lead is open up now. Three scores, 20-3. San Diego State trying to run it. And there is the true freshman, Corey Zmolik. Loss of three. They have yet to convert a third down. They need four. And Maiden's looking deep this time. Caught. Gilliam gets away for a moment. He's hit down. But they go after Nick Dorsey. And Gilliam has his fifth catch of the day. And San Diego State desperately needed a play like that. Quick to Gilliam, room on the edge. Tough to bring down, fighting his way to the 20. Press coverage now on first down. Fake to Armstead. Maiden wants six, and it's dropped. He had an open receiver, and that should have been a touchdown. Armstead on second down, wrapped up, and there's Cedric Parker, just his first tackle. Thought he played tremendous in week one. Blitz on third and long. Pass caught by Rudolph, and they will not let him get the first down. They just haven't been able to solve those third downs. It's their fourth field goal try. And this one's off the upright, no good. 
They come up short again. For those of you wondering about kicker ratings, here are the ratings for Jack Browning. Just 66 accuracy and only one of four on the day. Running it with Vince Taylor, trying to bounce this one, and he picks up four yards. It's actually been a pretty good game for him. And it's setting up well for him to get more in the second half. They need five, and Jackson makes the catch, converting on third down. And that's not even the type of play I expect him to make all the time. New set of downs. Protection breaks down, and Chriswell is sacked. Again, pretty good coverage there from the Aztec secondary. To set up a screen. Here's Vince Taylor in the open field. This could be trouble. But he jukes his way out of bounds. Oops. Third and short right near midfield. And incomplete for Joe Wright. That was contested. Fourth and two. Offense staying on the field. Already up 17, but continuing to keep their foot on the gas. Taylor off tackle. He will win the foot race and get the first down. They've had success running to the edge all day. Out of the eye. Toss out Vince Taylor. Gets a block from Bell, and now he's in the open field again. Taylor again accidentally steps out of bounds, but he gets 22. Here's Chris Well on second down. Good blitz pickup and incomplete. Tight coverage there against Davis. They spread the defense out on third and 10. For Rush, pressure inside. Woods adjusts, but he won't get there and it's fourth down. Three more for UTSA as the fourth quarter approaches and Armstead runs it right down the middle. It feels like the linebackers have not been as good this week when it comes to run defense. New set of downs. Now some pressure and they get to Maiden. Nice to see that penetration inside Patrick Jenkins. Following a loss of six. Underneath Wesley, a missed tackle for Cedric Parker. Too many extra yards there. Got to clean plays like that up. Now they have a third down and one. Armstead inside, and that is a third down conversion. They've been searching for those all day long. Now at the UTSA 38, blitz picked up. Gilliam makes the catch. It's a gain of eight. Now they go spread out on second down. Eight in coverage, and there goes Maiden with running room, and he'll slide his way inside the 20. You see three points on the scoreboard, and you would think that they've played a lot worse than they really have. Armstead inside the five, still looking for that first touchdown today. But they have not played well in the red zone, or on the UTSA half at all. Maiden to the end zone, and that is caught, but apparently not inbounds. Incomplete. Fullback dive, and the play made again, Andrew Ross. It's third and goal. Running with Armstead. Hall is there, and it's going to be fourth down and goal. San Diego State prepared to go for it. Heading to the air. Pressure is there, and they sack Maiden for a turnover on downs. Just a complete breakdown. The right tackle miss Keith Cowan. Cowan's been fast and flying around the field. He makes a play that gives UTSA the ball as they look to close this out. Taylor with another good run. He has 13 more. It's a 96-yard day for him. Taylor heads off tackle, and they just can't defend it. Taylor to the 40. He's crossed the century mark and hits his best game in such a long time. Out of the eye, Mills checks in. Now he'll run it right down the throat as they gain 11 yards. They have used today as a building block for the running game. And I hope they're able to do this more often because this could be a really nice offense. Toss out to Mills and he'll win the race to the outside. Now he's in the open and they get him inside the 15. 29 for Curtis Mills. He and Vince Taylor putting on a show today. 
Play fake. Chriswell keeps his balance. He dishes it to Davis. He's got the touchdown. An exclamation point on this game for UTSA as they look to move to 2-0. What a maneuver there by Jacoby Chriswell. A couple more touchdown passes in this game and the Roadrunners lead it by 27. Backups will get their first playing time of the year. That ball's out. Picked up John Davis. He's going to scoop and run this in. Touchdown. Cedric Parker on the blitz. Knocked it out. These linebackers as blitzers are going to be a real weapon for this defense. Maiden underneath now. Gilliam. And he's tough to tackle. He breaks two more and takes it into UTSA territory. Just a minute to go in this game, 37 to three. Jalen Maiden uncorks the long ball. What a catch. Delos Reyes, 20 yards. They'd love to leave San Antonio with at least one touchdown, you'd think. Too high, incomplete. That was Ross on the coverage. 51 seconds remaining, Maiden on the keeper. First down to the 10. Closing in on the end zone. They've had a lot of chances today. First and goal, San Diego State. This is Davis off tackle. Jordan slows him up, and the tackle made by John Charles. Not exactly playing in a hurry here. 15 seconds to go. A new quarterback is in, by the way, and this is Haskell completing shy of the end zone. And I think with uh, Maiden... Getting shaken up a couple plays ago. They're probably done now. No need to risk further injury as the Roadrunners win their home opener. On paper, this would have been probably our easiest game on the schedule, and the Roadrunners did their job. Great day all around. I think that, you know, San Diego State didn't play three points bad. They just weren't good on third down. Dropped a touchdown. Couldn't keep it close for... Longer than a couple quarters, and UTSA did what they came to do. I wanted to see them run the football better today, and it worked as good as it has in a long time. I want this to be a team that can attack the edge with the speed. We don't have the size or strength inside, whether it be the guards or the running backs, to be that type of a running game. So I really want the stretch and the toss to be a part of our offense. Today it finally was. And the running game steals the show away from Joe Wright, who only has the four catches he had in the first half. We didn't look his way as much in the second half, and there were plays where I wanted to, but they had it well covered or forced us outside the pocket. So not every game will be 200 yards, but you know when the games are tougher, we're looking 18's way as much as we can. But great to see Taylor and Mills both run wild on this defense today right up to 254 yards and Jackson had a very nice day being more involved in the offense. We started the day ranked 24 and after our win we're able to leapfrog a few teams that lost and are now up to 21. As far as the Heisman watch we'll keep an eye on it but so far no Joe Wright but we'll see if some more big games can get him in that conversation. We take on a pair of Big Ten teams now the next two weeks, our next one against Maryland. Now, they were ranked when the season began, part of why they were on the schedule. But they lost their opener to Bowling Green by seven. So now they come in unranked, looking to spoil our 2-0 start. Maryland has two stars here on offense. Rakeem Jarrett, the junior receiver who's been very productive. I'd expect him to declare after this season. And then Talia Tungavailoa. I'm a bit surprised he didn't declare, but he's back. And those two are the stars of this offense. And we'll see if they're able to give this defense some fits. They have a good linebacking core as well. I'm interested in how they handle our running game. But I want to see A.J. Brown on Rakeem Jarrett as much as possible and how that matchup plays out. I'll start showing some of the kicking ratings as well. I know that's been a topic because we always seem to face kickers that just can't make anything. And the ratings just 
end up not being very good, either low power, low accuracy, or both. So with the sliders on here, I can't go any lower for user field goal accuracy. And for the CPU, it's at 40. They don't play out equally. It's just a really weird situation there. I do want to talk recruiting though for the first time this season and we are set to lose 17 players after this year. Our entire linebacking core on defense and a few defensive linemen. So I think we're off to a really good start so far. We're seeing really intriguing prospects with us in their top 10 during the preseason. Starting here, Naeem Hogan, a really complete looking tackle. At wide receiver, Omar Harris. He's the number 11 receiver in the country. He has speed at an A. We don't know what it is, but I'm done scouting now at 50%. Excellent route runner. We worry about the hands, but there's big play upside with him. Freddie Wallace. I think he's just going overlooked here. The power moves and the block shed look good, and we could probably use an early contributor again next season. John Pochick. This is an athlete who could play on either side of the ball. He's got tremendous man coverage, tremendous route running, but might be a best fit for the defensive side. Aaron Leroy at wide receiver, another four star, and he is exceptionally fast, 96, but that deacceleration does concern me. And I am, you know, maybe not likely to win this one, but we are going to try. Sincere Rhymes, a running back out of Bloomington, Minnesota. I want a power back on this team. I've scouted so many, and almost all of them have weak power. And then Jake Garcia. So I am continuing to scout quarterbacks because I don't know what next year looks like. I think I know that next year's quarterback would likely be Trey Irvine, but my goal is to, you know, like last year, bring in Williams, maybe go after Garcia now. So we have options for when that time comes. But I think it'll be Trey Irvine a year from now. And that is going to end this episode in the UTSA Dynasty. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. With the Titans franchise up and running now, I expect to have more consistent videos out going forward. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.